And now, I'm gonna take my shoes off and get ready to take you guys along the beach and see what's happening. Let's show you what the beaches of Riga or Jurmala are really all about. Oh. oh guys, this feels amazing. Now, first off, because the sand is so white, it doesn't get that hot. It's about 30, 32 degrees, completely clear blue skies. Now, if I was in Spain, Israel, Greece, I'd be jumping up and down because my feet would be frying right now. But uh, that's not the case here. There's a Moe bar over there, right on the beach, Moe Chandon, for those of you who likes, who may like, um, you know, the more exclusive type of partying. I don't know if it's like Nikki Beach in Spain where they spray each other with champagne, but a complete waste of money in my mind. What a great day. So we're just going to walk along the beach. So as you can get an idea of what it's like. And all along here, as you can see, we've got this forestry that makes it really unique. That's one thing that is really unique about the Baltic beaches is the forestry right behind the beach. Now over there there's another party place where you can sit, chill, have some drinks. For you, is that painful? It looks like the place is sponsored by Excellence Ice Cream if you see which once again the most amazing Latvian ice cream. Um, honestly I'd put it up against any of the top ice creams out there and uh, at a fraction of the price. And look at this guy making his sculpture in the sand. Look what a great building on the right on the seafront guys. And by the looks of it, it's for sale. Now how magnificent is that building? And I hate to think what it must be worth because building that close to the sand I don't think it's even allowed anymore in most countries. This makes it super unique. It's something I'd like to take a look at. See what it actually is. Honestly guys, walking on this sand is so pleasant. It's literally like walking on talcum powder. It is so soft privateworld.eu if anyone's interested this whole place is for sale why thank you very much no it's, <laughs> no, mine. it's yours is it <laughs> see there's loads of scattered bars but there's another building that I was wanting to see so we're gonna walk along here and then rejoin the beach or the sand a little bit later let's see she didn't want to share her drink with me never mind Maybe we'll find someone that will. And look at that building over there, the Baltic Beach Hotel. Almost guaranteed, that's a Soviet built building. And once upon a time, I mean, it's still a very nice hotel, but you can imagine what this would have been 30 years ago or more. And here you've got these little huts that you can rent for the day. Nikki Beach style, it's kind of like in Marbella, Spain. Everybody sat around eating fruit. Hey there. You guys deal with these things? Yes. How much are they? 30 euro one. One bed? One bed, 30 euro one day. Okay. Can I look at the menu? Thank you. Very pleased to see me by the looks of it. I've never seen such a greeting. Sangria Pinto. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to be Nikki Beach without the smiles. Nikki Beach would have smiled and said welcome. But uh, not these guys. Never mind. I'd much rather sit at a... Good morning, how are you? It is a good morning. Maybe not for her. Oh. Really clear this water. Really nice. Feels good. Looks like a bit of a um, volleyball competition place there. They got seats. Who would have guessed, right? 
Who would have guessed that just 20 minutes away from Riga, there's this paradise. Now guys, we've had a taste of what the beaches are like. I think what we'll do is we'll take that guy up on his word and see if he really has an amazing hamburger. But rather than walk back along the beach, we're gonna go one block in, walk the parallel along the streets of Jurmala because it's really a charming, charming little town. First, I need to dry my feet. So we're leaving the beach for a little bit. I'm just gonna walk up this pathway and show you some of the, some of the properties, holiday homes. Some people do live here all, all year, but a lot of holiday homes, people that buy vacation homes from, from Russia, from other countries, a lot from Russia actually. The breeze along this alleyway just feels fantastic. But here's, here's what I wanted to show you, the unique architecture. Look at these places. These are wooden houses and they're protected. So if you bought a place like this, you couldn't just tear it down for the land and build whatever you wanted. I have seen some that, uh, that have made additions to it and that, but the, the structure has to remain, which is which is brilliant, look at this. And obviously you have some more, let's say, extravagant places. Like this place that has its own drive up to the house, security hut. Really cool little town. It's got a bit of a, I don't know, for a couple of summers I worked in a place called Wildwood, New Jersey, back in the early 90s. And it's got that really small town, kind of like resort feel to it with these really old houses, uh, just 30 years later. Now a lot of Russians bought here because there was a uh, program whereby if you invested a certain amount in real estate a few years ago, uh, then the Latvian government would give you a uh, a residency to live here which by having that it pretty much opened up all of the rest of Schengen all the rest of Europe and it was a very popular scheme so a lot of Russians came bought up properties and now have the right to live here and uh, yeah but in the winter a lot of this shuts down the vibe isn't there, it's not as busy, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, some people do live here in the winter. I have been here in the winter, but it's not the same. I'd much rather be in the city center in the winter. So we're at the Baltic Beach Hotel. We saw it from the other side earlier. And as you can see, they have a thing here called the Banya. They put the in English and then Banya in Russian, but it's a sauna complex. And as you can see, they've got the hot rooms and then these freezing cold waters, you know, to, to dip and dive into. And like I said, it's something that's taken very seriously. It's not something you would use after, you know, a one hour workout at the gym for a few minutes. They spend hours sitting, eating, drinking, you name it. And there's a whole ritual. So let's see if we can share that with you one day. I didn't realize how far we'd walk. I'm absolutely shattered, hot, thirsty. Can't wait to uh, get back there. It's a long walk. I was telling you about. Let's take one for a ride, shall we?
ride, you just end the ride, or you can just pause it, which is what I'm going to do, that way it stays there, and we can take it back. <sighs> Good morning. Oh, it's a warm day today, isn't it? First drop of water I've had since I got to the beach. I've had a gin tonic, but that just dehydrates. Feels good to hydrate. You know, I'm just gonna cool off a bit because the air condition here is going on full blast. Well, I think I'll head back to that uh, place, try their uh, burger, and let's see if their claims are real or not. Let's go. Alrighty, I'm back for your hamburger. Are you back for the I'm hamburger? I'm back for the hamburger. I'm I, just told, I just saw the chef. There will be the one famous uh, YouTuber right now and uh, will taste the burger. Tell him no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Alright. All right. Just take a seat. The, yeah, I'll grab a chair. Take, take care of you. Okay. She will bring everything good again. morning once again. How are you? So, yeah, to the, take the burger. Yeah, that's me. You heard about it, huh? I heard about it. What's your name? Stas. Stas, I'm Justin. So you're a vlogger, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you need to taste it. I that definitely will. Hopefully we'll get some good reviews here because yeah. I am the a fan. The bartender is really good, ask him good cocktails. Are you the, you, you own this place or what? He's one of the owners. I'm the manager of this place. Hello, one of the owners. Your name is? Lowry's. Nice to meet you. I'm Justin. Anyways, I'm going to review your burger and then you can check it on Justin Eastern Europe later. Okay, In about it. three days, you guys are going to be online. The DJ so. and, uh, the evening, there will be DJ and uh, oh, this a party? Yeah, it, it's, it won't be like uh, yesterday. Yesterday, it's like the morning. At 6.30 6 today, there will be a plane flying over. And that's going to be me filming. I will see your place and I will film your place. And I'm like, that's where Larry is yeah, down there. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, and then when I'm done, what time's the DJ tonight? Uh, DJ at 8. Start at 8. Still? But uh, till I think 2 at night. Look forward to it. Nice to meet you guys. Lisa, when you have a moment. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a burger. Yeah. It doesn't say much like what comes in it. Just bread and meat or? Like cheese, like, like the sandwich food here. Like onions, some vegetables. No bacon, right? Nothing. Okay. Let's try. Does it come with anything else? Fries or? With fries, but there is not, not a lot of them. I don't need a lot of them. And uh, you have mayo and ketchup on the side? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Hi. Can I get a small beer? Small beer, the light one or the dark one? Could you have uh, Valmer Muija? No, we have mashed balls. A uh, light one, yeah? Yeah. Let me get a, a small light beer. Oh. Not bad, guys. This is uh, Mesh Pills. Very popular beer here. Very tasty. And does the trick. Do you want a tissue? Do you have anything spicy? Spicy. No, no jalapenos, nothing, no? Yeah, I do need an napkin. That would be good. Okay. okay. Hello, guys. So far, it looks really impressive. Let's dig in. Really good. Like it? Very nice. So, all your. Followers will come here. Absolutely. Come over here. Come meet Larry's, taste his burger, have his wonderful Measure Pills beer. And what a setting, huh? Priceless. Nice one. Mm. So I like you and you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Are you from Riga? Yes, I have also a restaurant in Riga. Which one? Sinks Indian food. We also have a... Wait, wait, wait. Come and have a seat. <laughs> then, then, then I... Indian food. I made a vlog about uh, the banana leaf. Okay, we have Jack for this, Kuka Jabriya, and now from the uh, last end of the lot here, yeah, on Anthony Street. But Anthony Street is a totally different. There is a pizza, sushi, burgers and kebabs. 
And that's why when I go on bold, I can see sings. Yes, yes. Kebab sings. Yes, yes, yes. And there is a most the different thing what we have there is a, for pizzas we have everything from Italy, starting from uh, dough. Oh, really? All toppings, everything is coming from Italy. Because I, I mean, I order pizza a lot, but I never thought to order a pizza from an yes, Indian yes, place. Yes, but you need to try it because it's totally everything is. We have Indian chicken, Mexican chicken. It's, it's everything is coming already. Um, some, some kind of prepared, but it's... Uh, so it's really authentic, huh? It's, it's 100% authentic from Italy. Then uh, kebab. Bread is coming from Israel. Uh, pizza bread. From Israel? From Israel. Pizza bread is coming from Israel. This is what how you make Definitely it, uh, gonna have to try uh, that. Then beef coming from Germany, from some Eccles. Some Top quality, uh, huh? Very nice. Uh, I like the beef kebab. It's, it's but I met Mr. Singh. He's got the turban. Yeah, he drives yeah. a Range Rover with the number plate yeah, Singh. Yeah, yeah. Is that your partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, and then uh, sushi. Uh, sushi is like sushi. It's everywhere sushi. And the uh, burgers. You need to try Mr. Singh burgers. Really? We have very, very uh, fried. Also, spicy stuff. Yeah. That's why I was here, so you have something spicy, jalapeno, because I like spicy. Uh, bet, yeah, we bet with the uh, that I, uh, I will eat the uh, uh, highest level of spice. Oh, you made this so, competition. Yeah. <laughs> so I, for two months, because I, before I didn't eat even uh, potato chips, it was too spicy for me. Really? Yeah. For two months, every day, I, every every day, sir, you train. Every month, yeah, I was going up, 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 every second week, a little bit up, up. In the end of the second month, I eat the most spicy rice what they can do, what they can give me. You can't feel taste of the food at all. <laughs> you just you're burning your face like that all around. <laughs> but I eat it. <laughs> and you know the price was another one. <laughs> so you own this place, then you're gonna open a sports bar, yeah. a gym. Yeah. You have sinks, you've got sinks on, on uh, Antonius, you've got radio radio bar, but you live in Riga, yeah? I live in Salaspils, actually. Salaspils, yeah. Oh, nice. It's on the border of Riga. So yeah, I know where Salaspils is. Very, very, very quiet and uh, no people come <laughs> because it's too loud every day. Yeah. How's the burger? Honestly? You want me to tell you the truth? It's very, I know the truth. it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. No, if it wasn't good, I wouldn't even eat it. I tell you the truth. That's nice to hear. No, I mean I like it. You never know what to expect with these beach places because it's always In tourists. Beach places, it's also no, part of it's really good. No, but the thing is, I don't, I don't need a flash burger. You know where it's like, oh, with uh, you know some kind of uh, special things. Give me a good tasty patty and everything else. But usually on the beach, it's hard to find quality because it's tourists, they think, ah, we just give them shit, high profit margins, and that's it. But this meat, I could actually eat it without the bread. So the boxing matches I can watch here, but not in the, only in the summer, right? Oh, there was also football, uh, football, uh, no, basketball, basketball, there will be basketball. Turkey play, basketball, yeah. there will be basketball. Also, next my Wednesday, we will try to make some uh, like autumn movie nights. Mm. So, Last year we tried, it wasn't very popular, but uh, this year we already have some messages, you know, us. So you, you put a movie and you just come, sit and watch? Sit down, drink, watch Fantastic. Movie. Yeah, but I'm, I'm learning my Latvian. I'm learning to speak Latvian with music. So, es matzos latishu valodu right now. Great. But I'm learning it with guys like Brainstorm, you know, like Davis, uh, I'm just learning their songs. The most popular. It's a fantastic. You know, I knew the band. Before I even knew that they were Latvian, I mean, back years ago, you know, it's a fantastic from band. Latvia, there's also there's one uh, boy from Japan who liked uh, this band. He started to translate the songs there, play them, then learn the language. Now he's here, and now he's uh, with other guy. They play. Somewhere. No way. Yeah, he's from Japan. He only in YouTube finds some songs he likes. He starts to translate. Now he learned the language. And, Get out of here, yeah. guys. For a beach burger, it's really phenomenal. Nothing fancy. Fresh tomatoes, fresh pickles, fresh ingredients. But exactly what you need on a hot summer's day when you've had a bit too much to drink and you need to soak up that alcohol, this does the trick.
Cheers guys. Well I tell you guys that was just what the doctor ordered a nice delicious fresh burger after a hot day on the beach drinking gin tonics and beers ah, it really did the trick well guys I missed my train and as you can see I'm walking along the train tracks to the station right there heading back to Riga and it's been a phenomenal day the Sun's been shining the last weekend in August and we visited Jurmala had some nice drinks on the beach met some interesting people and to top it all off had a simple yet delicious burger and I was really in need for some kind of food that would soak up a bit of the alcohol and make me feel better give me some energy and that really hit the spot so yeah Jurmala if you thought Riga was all about parties and old towns architecture well it is but you've also got phenomenal beaches at a fraction of the price of what other popular destinations might be so consider it as your next beach holiday destination well now I've got about 20 minute wait for the train because I missed the last one I hope you enjoyed this short or maybe not so short video and remember guys Enjoy your journey.